Hola, me llamo Liliana Barrios, tengo 23 años, and I am currently living in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Mexican, Mexican-American. My mom's from Durango, my dad's from Jerez, Zacatecas. I was born in Chicago with a big-ass family. Literally, there's like at least about 100 of us. So I grew up family-oriented since day one. You know, they came to the U.S. to try and get a better opportunity at life, and not only for themselves, but for their kids, too. I grew up watching them work their ass off. That's actually one of the main things why I work so hard. Normally, the first thing they say, oh, well, you're pretty, you know? You could just marry a rich guy. Like, you don't have to work. You don't have to get your education. But I'm doing it because I want to because I refuse to let a man take credit for everything I worked for. I've always been drawing since I was little. I started to realize, like, man, you ain't getting any younger. Whatever you gotta do, you gotta do it now because you don't want to be 30 looking back wishing you did it before. So I had a friend who was a tattoo artist and he liked my drawings and he's like, you know, why don't you try to tattoo? I was like, nah, I don't want to be people up. So and he was like my crash dummy. You know, he believed in me. He believed in my art. He sacrificed his skin, obviously, so that way I could practice. And from then on, honestly, I just continued doing it. I tattoo a lot of girls, especially a lot of strippers, because they pay the best, and they're like the ones that are the most tatted, and they never, ever, ever question the price. Guys, normally, they just wanna get tattoos by me for the wrong reasons. You get a lot of douchebags. I want people to know me for my art rather than just another pretty face. It was a constant struggle trying to make it here in Chicago so that I could stay with my family. I ended up at Nine Mag because Ryan actually had offered me a job. And when he offered me that, I was honestly surprised. When my family and friends found out, they told me basically to keep your eye on the prize, stay focused, don't lose sight of that, keep your guard up, and take care of yours. I've been f***ed over a lot. So I'm very overprotective over me. I'm very overprotective over my feelings, over my environment. At Nine Mag, I'm still getting to know the shop and the cast members. I love the fact that they're family oriented. Chicago is definitely one of those cities where only the strong survive. If you're trying to make it out here, you know, you really have to stay focused and keep grinding. All the violence and everything that goes on here. Black Ink season three is really showing people that are really trying to be something more than just another statistic. Let's work as a team and let's get this money.